assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to start uh, inspiring science grade 2 unit number 1 and uh, it's about the landscapes as you see a um, few pictures before this unit that there are uh, mountains there are land hilly areas plains and deserts and oceans and seas coastal areas all these pictures are related to your unit or earth and first before starting this unit and uh, there is a very good warm-up activity for you uh, that you have to fill yourself and at the end you will ask the clues or uh, you can have a cross check from your parents that uh, what's the solution you have to do it yourself the first is co as picture you can see just write it spelling and uh, the next one that is uh, first blank n and blank and w that will be a uh, snow and uh, the third one it's at top when you see uh, if you are standing and uh, in a plain area or in a ground if you see up what you see that is a sky so right here sky here as it indicated that it's a sun and uh, these are the mountains it's a rock r o c k rock and this is a forest it's a water fish and uh, uh, ducks are swimming here so it's a river and uh, this is a very healthy activity you can also play it like a game okay let's start our unit that is about the earth how earth is divided in different parts our earth is made up of land and water in some places the earth is flat and plain as we are living in the Punjab, it is a flat and plain air. So, it's the areas where we are living, these are the plain areas. In other places, it is raised. So, if the earth is raised in this way, the, these are the mountains. We say it's hilly areas or the mountainous areas. In most of the places, there is water. And water if we talk about the water so it is oceans seas rivers lakes ponds so all these water bodies they are covering the most part of the earth and the next is all around the earth there is air so the air is covering our earth all around everywhere there is air that's why we feel very easy and there is no irritation and there is no suffocation while breathing. Let's start our topic that is the land. Our earth has different types of land. It has plains, forests, deserts, hills, mountains and valleys. All the pictures uh, that you've seen before about plains, forests, deserts, hills and mountains and valleys. These are very beautiful pictures. You can even visit these pictures when you have summer vacations with your parents and uh, now talk about the plains as you see a yeah, picture in your book there is also a picture of the plains and flatlands where nowadays we are living and uh, some of you also visit uh, different uh, mountainous areas hilly areas and their vacations so those are the uh, mountains and uh, even there you also see some forest because there are just trees there no people live over there just trees and animals are there that we can see there uh, in the plain areas there are just cities towns villages and different buildings you can see like hospitals schools parks and almost there are mostly uh, all the seasons like if we are talking about Punjab and Pakistan so that is all the seasons that summer winter spring and autumn the third one is about the deserts the land and some part of the earth is very very dry so these are very very dry and sandy places these are called the deserts 
uh, we uh, mostly people now many people don't live in the deserts because there is just little water and little rain camels can uh, camels are found in the in deserts because camels can live without fo uh, feeding and without drinking water for so many days even for seven days so we can uh, found the animals um, uh, in the desert that are snakes and camels just very few people live and this is the cactus plants that we mostly see in the desert areas and and the uh, page number three there are costs costs are the areas that are around the ocean or the sea where people go for picnic or they visit the uh, areas for <clears throat> you can see the beach areas <clears throat> So these are the coastal areas or cost. <coughs> the land areas near the sea are called the coast. They are sandy beaches near many coasts. Many people live in co coastal areas or the warm and air is humid. Humid means that there, uh, the content of water or uh, content of water or humidity is much more in those areas as compared to plain areas or the forest or the deserts okay wow there is a activity for us that is about the fill in the blanks have you seen this and these blanks are all just related to your reading what you have done till page number three uh, so you if you do the reading very properly so you can easily fill these blanks but if you are not getting and giving proper time to your reading so it will be quite difficult for you to fill these blanks okay let's try it and uh, i will help you for uh, solution but first try it yourself it will be healthy and it will not take any time that uh, for learning if you do it yourself you will learn it at the same time so the first is most cities and towns are built in plains plain areas large number of wild animals live in forests and coconut trees are found in which areas if you read the reading properly you can easily find the answer that is the coastal areas oh polar regions and the polar regions the land is always covered with lots of snow and ice very few plants and even the human beings or animals live over there only a few animals that you see here polar bears live in this area people can live in houses made of ice slabs or you can say that uh, blocks of ice are they the people are called the Eskimos and the houses which are made up of ice blocks these are called the igloos oh there is a very interesting information for you that is the polar bear is so strong that it can kill an animal with one bow to the head means that it is so strong that it can even kill the animal with a single attack so it is interesting for you about the polar bear here is an activity and uh, there are so many activities in your book so book is so interesting is it match the pictures to the places where they are found where these animals or the plants are found so you have to match it with the uh, given option or given caption seal where seal is found as you see that seal is sitting in which area so you have to uh, join it with the proper caption that is the coast or the polar region plains and the desert wheat crop camel and coconut trees it's all about from your reading so next is the hill hilly areas or the mountain areas hilly areas are very pleasant most of you already visit the hilly area so you can easily understand this reading paragraph and uh, you see over there the people made their houses just like huts 
and uh, with the sloping roofs why they there are sloping roofs there are sloping roofs um, the reason is that people uh, make it uh, f that rain water or the snow easily flow away from the roofs so there will be no uh, rain water collected in the, on the roof or there is no ice that make them uh, uh, troublesome for them mountains mountains are much bigger than hills some mountains are rocky some are muddy uh, you know that some mountains are made up of mud just with the soil so these uh, those areas are a little bit dangerous some are very high and some are covered with snow where snow melts water starts flowing down the mountains it also make a waterfall a beautiful waterfalls we can see in the mountainous areas of the pakistan the next is about the valley what is valley as you also see in the start of the uh, unit there are pictures of valleys that the area between the two mountains where uh, we can say a little bit plain area where people easily where people can easily move or they can grow the crops or they can harvest the animals easily so the those that area is called the valley here you can see the valley uh, i can tell you some uh, names of valleys in pakistan that is neelam valley and uh, kaghan valley uh, naran valley these are the valleys between the mountains water what is water a large part part of the earth surface is filled with water water is important for all of us you know it very well that if you don't drink the water we feel very thirsty and even um, you know, people can die if they don't have enough water most of the water present in earth is salt water it is present in uh, vast quantities in water bodies called the oceans and seas now on page number six there are few fill in the blanks just three blanks here there you have to fill it again i'm saying that if your reading comprehension is very good so you can easily fill these blanks but if you don't give proper time to your reading you will feel difficulty so i hope that everybody can do that very few plants grow in dash in the deserts you can see that in the desert the ice houses in which the eskimos live are called the igloos as we see in the picture of the igloo the, under that picture there is written this information the lowland between two mountains or hill is called a valley okay now it's done and the next is points to remember these are very important uh, points from your lesson if you learn it you can easily understand the concept and it's quite easy for you to get the idea how many types of the plants are um, how many types of the lands are there and what are the specialities of these lands and the same page uh, there is uh, exercises started again fill in the blanks but with the options so you have to choose the correct option the first is all around the earth there is air the second is highlands are called the plains or the hills so the correct option is the hills third is people live in the plains many people or few people so on the plains there are many people live so correct option is many now we are going to turn on the page number seven that is the fourth blank very few plants grow in desert or forest in forest there are we read that there are so many plants so uh, here the correct option is desert in desert very few plants grow and they say a fifth option many dash live in forest many people live in the forest or many animals obviously many animals live in the forest on the coast the air is dry or humid the air is humid coconut trees are found near dash areas near the coastal areas and the last plank is about the igloos about the eskimos about the polar region it is eskimos live in the houses made up of cement slabs or ice slabs the correct option is ice slabs okay now here is matching the column there two columns are given to you about the plain forest coast and desert so you have to 
match with a scale with proper lines to the next column plain as plain it is a flat land forest trees and animals cost cost is a land near the sea so the fourth one is desert desert is a dry place so we will join it with b it's now about the question answer session a little bit long but it is very interesting because we already learn many things from our reading and from different activities from warm-up activities that is given on the different pages so it's uh, you can take it as a quiz you can also take it as a evaluation activity so why do animal why, uh, sorry why do many people live in the plains what's the reason so the reason is that because crops can be grown in the plains so many people live there the second question is what do you see in the forest the correct option that i am going to keep a chat over here that is about the trees and animals what we see in the forest trees and animals what are deserts as i already tell you deserts are the dry and sandy places are called the deserts our fourth question why do few people and animals live in desert the reason is that because there is little water and the fifth question is why do houses in hilly areas have sloping roofs they have sloping roof so that rain water flow away easily the sixth and the last question is where do you find most of the water in the earth the answer is in oceans and trees now you can see these all question and their answers are here and you can easily <clears throat> you can easily learn it after learning you will write it on your rough register and your mother will check that rather your learning is very good awesome or superb okay this is the game a uh, playing game that uh, if your mother or your partner become a uh, I play a puzzle with you and they will ask these all statements from you you can <clears throat> easily answer them who I am they are giving you some clues they are giving some guesses to you and you will judge that which about which thing they are talking about first is I cover most of the earth surface I am water I am a house made of ice slabs I am an igloo right the third one i'm a very big and very high land i'm a mountain the fourth one is let me keep it right for you so it's easy for you to write the options the fourth one is i'm a way uh, the fourth one i'm a hot and dry place with lots of sand i am a desert and the fourth one i am a small highland i am a hill and the last one i am a lowland between two mountains so i am a valley this is interesting and the same way you can write it on different chart on different computer papers cut it and you can paste on your this task it will be a uh, very healthy enjoying activity and uh, you can also take help of your mom Okay, the project idea again a very interesting thing that I love to discuss with you it's about to make all these types of plants which you read in your lesson so like you can make deserts you can make uh, plains you can make the mountains even you can draw the all the things or you can paste different things for creativity and you can use a shoe box for making different landscapes at the end of the lesson i also share with you different types of projects uh, related to the art or the uh, 3d models so you can uh, anyone you can choose and uh, prepare it and you will share with me and even you can 
make all the models it's all up to you how much creative and how much uh, interesting uh, and you are taking interest in your lesson it will be very healthy activity in this way you can learn all the things what you read so i hope that all of you uh, find very easy this unit and uh, very interesting very new information you will find from it so keep enjoying keep reading keep studying don't disturb your parents thank you so much fiya manallah